Howdy fellas, Uncle Sasquatch and Jake. I've been looking around at uh, scope mounts for the M1A. I looked at the Springfield Armory mount and then like the idea that you have to take the stripper guide out of the gun and I also read that most times you have to fit that new part in there. So I did some research and came up with the Bassett machine and tool mount. This has been tested extensively by the United States Army was not adopted to be used, but it placed very high in the trials. The way it's made, um, it has a rail uh, milled into it, or pressed into it rather, that fits a groove in the receiver of the M1A, and it also has another uh, rail pressed in it here that goes into a slot right above the screw mounting hole. Uh, really good looking mount, it wasn't inexpensive $149 plus shipping but uh, I think it's going to be quite work, worth it. I've read that uh, it does shoot loose uh, but then again you read if you degrease your threads and, and your uh, on your bolt and the hole in the receiver that uh, it seems to solve that problem. The company does not recommend uh, lock tighting but I don't see anything would, would be wrong if you're not going to be taking the scope on and off to go ahead and use a little blue Loctite on it to, to uh, make it work. So it's pretty simple to mount up. And Jake will work with me here. He likes to help. You place the thing in the groove. And start finger tightening your bolt. All right, you bring it to finger tight and it's supplied with a little torque wrench or tool that uh, has a lanyard on it and, and by the way it also does have a little recess in it that you can put some grease in there for your bolt roller if you want to do it and then you're supposed to place the gun on the ground put the tool on it I don't know if you can see that or not but it's at a slight angle you see I have that on there then you simply take the gun and support it with your left hand pick up like that and that's supposed to torque it to the proper 22 inch pounds of torque. Pretty simple. We'll uh, see on down the road how it works. But I hope you can see that a little bit better in the camera there. That's uh, with it mounted. It is a high mount, uh, which you can still use your peep sight. And your front sight, you can see it. I've already put it on here and tested it a little bit. Um, I think it's a pretty good looking thing. I think it's going to work for me well. Now, come back just a little bit later, maybe today or tomorrow, with part two in this, and I'll show you the scope and the rings that I put on it. And that will turn it into, hopefully, an M21 when I get everything for it. Thanks for watching. Keep your powder dry. Mind that top knot, Pilgrim.